Ah, the joys of vacation. When I think of vacation, I automatically think of long sleep-ins, minimal work, and lots of books. For all of us, getting back into the flow of regular life and work responsibilities after an extended break can be tough. As humans, we're innately hedonistic and naturally gravitate toward things that feel pleasurable, enjoyable, and evoke a positive emotional state. We're also master acclimatizers. We physiologically and behaviorally adjust to whatever environment we're placed in. This is true for both relaxing situations or intense work situations. My name is Dr. Jody, and I'm a registered psychologist with expertise in all things related to psychological health and resilience. I'm also the CEO and founder of MyWorkplaceHealth.com, and I'm a national expert in psychological health and safety in the workplace. In this video, I'll be talking about how to get back into work mode after a vacation or extended time away from work, particularly if you're feeling unusually motivated to go back. Since we acclimatize to any environment we're in, we experience an adjustment as we switch between different environments. I personally find it can take me a few days or even longer if I've been in a very intense work situation to get into vacation mode and to subjectively start to feel zenned out. I end up sleeping way more than usual, maybe even napping, and I definitely don't feel as sharp mentally as I do when I'm in work mode. Similarly, it can take me time to ease back into work mode, and this can lead to most of us feeling initially unmotivated to get back into the routine of regular work and life even if we love it. So how do we refocus on work and find energy and motivation after an extended holiday? It can be easy, especially on the heels of a vacation, to get stuck in the trap of ruminating on all the reasons we're required to or dislike work. Not only does this type of thinking do nothing to change the situation, but it breeds negative emotions. Shifting the focus to the choice elements can help us feel more engaged more quickly. So we need to remind ourselves why we're doing the work that we do. Putting pen to paper can be useful. Consider asking these questions. Why did you choose the job you're in? What do you love most about it? How does it contribute to your sense of meaning and purpose? How does your job allow you to achieve your personal and financial goals? And perhaps most importantly, where and when is the next vacation your job is going to allow you to take? If the feeling of low motivation persists, it may be a sign that there's something more significant at play. And maybe you need to think seriously about whether or not your job or career is a good fit for you and is truly making you happy. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I hope that you found this video helpful. Please take a moment to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and follow us on social media for a lot more helpful tips.